Hey guys, it's JJ Jester here. I just, um, I know I had said my video that I was gonna upload was probably gonna be done on my, done on my castle. Um, I started doing it on the castle and realized that I'm gonna have to completely overhaul for what I want. So I decided to come back to the flat world. And this is what I was put, gonna put in it. And... It brought me to a conclusion that I needed to do a pulse extender. So that this video is kind of on this and pulse extenders. And basically, if you don't know, and that's kind of what these videos are for, uh, pulse extender, it's going to send the first signal through. It'll send the first signal through this and into the um, redstone lamp and then at the same time it's also going to send a signal through these repeaters and back into the lamp at the same time that it's still lit which is going to extend your signal so it's going to do the first one and then it'll do the second one and it'll basically give it an extended pulse by sending it through the repeaters and I have a couple different setups for this this one I mean this one's really uh, easier to understand this one's kind of where it's expanded it's a pain in the butt but this one's probably the easiest to understand because these will basically represent when we actually have repeaters It'll actually, these will, re these represent what the repeaters do. They delay the signal just enough that when this was the first pulse is getting ready to shut off, it, the repeaters bring in another one, another pulse, and it basically extends the light so it stays on. And I kind of want to do this. I needed the extender so that I could get across this without it collapsing so adding in a pulse extender make it long or stay up long enough to get across it but um, these things you know they you can make them you can make them really tiny so that you can fit them into a spot I mean eventually we're not gonna need these anyway because when repeaters can these circuits get super tiny. I think uh, I think it's like a six by two. You could probably fit all that in, maybe less. It's been a while since I've done a pulse extender. It took me a minute on here, where we don't have to, <clears throat> where we have to do it with these repeaters right now. But that's basically it. Um, I just wanted to, I mainly had started out just wanting to do a video for this here. Because this here, I've just, it's simple. I got lamps that keep them powered on. And then I've got redstone going, the wire going behind the lamps to shut the lamps off. And then I've got my pulse extender here. And can't see it but there's there's a torch underneath this one turning that one off I wanted to leave it exposed but there's really no way of leaving it exposed I guess I can but you really can't yeah you can, you can see it but there's a lit lamp under there turning that one off and then this one kind of a pain to I mean while well, it is and it isn't you got your signal going into this one first, which powers it initially. Then you've got your, they don't look like the repeaters I did in the other version there, but you got it coming through and sending a second, a second pulse, which will extend the initial pulse. I think I can show it. Yeah, it actually shows better on this one because of where the torches are side by side.
that is another thing that is pretty handy like when we have like piston doors especially if like I tend to use the nor latches um, which is basically all the things are the repeaters that we're using now that's basically all they are is nor latches um, but yeah for doing like piston doors extender great thing because if you have your button or something too far away from the door you'll end up getting crushed in the survival mode and take some damage so pulse extender is a good thing to do if you want to because I tend not to do the pressure plates when I'm doing piston doors because mobs can walk over pressure plates and the door gets tripped so I will tend to do either redstone switches where a drop of redstone or a redstone torch, you know, the <coughs> sorry, something that you know a mob can't trip, and a button if you have your button too far away, a pulse extender is a good thing to have. But to make this work for both sides, all you'd have to do is drop one of these pulse extenders over to this side. With another button and you would it would work from both directions I just did the one to show how it works but um, to do it from both sides you just copy that side over to this side and it would work both ways um, I'm sorry I'm kind of jumbling everything up here but um, I didn't initially expect to do or I wasn't thinking about doing two two videos I probably could have gotten away with just doing two separate ones but I want to throw it into one where we have the pulse extender and where I came up with the until we have pistons and I can do my double piston extender bridge this is what I'm gonna go with on my castle So that's, I wanted to show how this worked and I figured do the pulse extender at the same time. But anyway guys, have fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, have a good day.